Good morning, class. It's time for math. Mr. Alexander, can I use the ladies' room? Okay, but hurry up. We're going to learn long division. Thank you. Oh God, I should not have eaten Chinese takeout for breakfast. Oh shit. Okay, coast is clear. Now to pull and hit my vocal cords to sound like Mr. Griffith Harris. Ow, pulling and hitting my vocal cords hurt as hell. Now let's get on with this. Attention students and staff of Gunner Elementary School, this announcement is to notify that we are having a severe emergency lockdown. A man in a hockey mask was seen walking by our school with a rifle and a butcher knife. I see him through the window. Oh shit, he's coming to the school. Students quickly go under your desks and teachers lock the doors. Close your curtains and shut off the lights and electronics that may be visible in the dark. Stay absolutely quiet. The police, FBI, SWAT, military, Navy, Marines and others will be here shortly. Oh no, he's in the school. Everyone, oh no, he's in the office. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh no, but have I done? The whole school is in a panic. I got to go. Little girl, what are you doing out here while there is a serial killer in the office? Get in my classroom now. I'm sorry but all the desks are taken, but you can hide behind the huge locker. Hello, I am a police officer that was called. I am here to inform you that that was not Mr. Griffith Harris on the intercom and was a false alarm. This lockdown is not over because we are looking through the security camera files to see who did it. Everyone stay in your position as we go from room to room to find the person. Come with me now. Do you know why I called you in here? Oh never mind. Our cameras caught you coming into my office and telling everyone there was a mass murderer on campus grounds. Do you know that terrorized the whole school? I saw some kids in their classrooms freaking out with paramedics putting oxygen masks on their faces and putting them on a spinal board. That's it. You're suspended for three months. And I'm calling your mom to pick you up. No, 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 please. I am so sorry. This won't happen never again. Hello. Is this Mrs. Marcus? Okay. Laura made a fake lockdown that made the school into a panic. She is suspended for three months. Please pick her up. Thanks, bye. Your parents are coming. Are you angry at me, Mom? Angry Dawson began to explain the damage caused to the school. I can't believe you got suspended from school for creating a fake lockdown. Do you know that could have gotten you arrested? I'm sorry, Mom. It was all supposed to be a harmless prank. No. Harmless? Are you kidding? You terrorized the whole school? They all thought there was a murderer at school? When we get home, we'll watch the news to see what the damage is now. Oh yeah, you're definitely standing. But... Sam. Today on GNN, a school in a panic after a student falsely states a lockdown. Today, Gunner Elementary School was closed early due to a motherfucking bread breaking into the office and exclaiming a fake lockdown. We're live at the scene outside of the terrified school. Right now, we're live inside the deserted hallway of the school, with three interviewers. The first is the principal of the school. Uh, Mr. Griffith Harris, would you like to share your story? Yes. Laura broke into my office while I was puking in the bathroom and fake a lockdown, saying a serial killer broke into the school. Any Dora, if you're watching this, 
I changed my mind about your suspension. You're expelled from this school and will be given a restraining order from this school. If you step 150 feet to this school, you will be sent to prison. Now we have Ricky Durandith, a parent of a traumatized fourth grader. Now share your story to the viewers. Whoever you are Dora, your little prank gave my daughter severe post-traumatic stress disorder and now she is in a mental institution in a padded room in an oxygen mask and straight jacket and a neck brace and spinal board. She freaked out so much. She had a compound femur stress fracture and is now paralyzed in a stretcher pulse oxygen mask machine forever. She also has frequent seizures and has nine physical and behavioral therapists now because of you. I just wanted you to know that, you and your family will be paying a $900,000 hospital bill. That's more than the cost of our home, our own all in so much trouble. for raising her poorly. Our family is so torn apart now. We always have fights and cry and give out a lot of punishments now. We will never be the same. That's it. I'm leaving now. Now we have the victim of the lockdown, Jacob Berg. So Jacob, tell your story. So I was in my drama class, and all of a sudden, the intercom went off and Dora faked a lockdown and I was so scared for my life. So Jacob, would you ever allow this type of behavior in your home? Absolutely not! Anyone who comes and faking a lockdown in my house will get a severe nosebleed and a bell beating. I'm coming for you, Dora. Jacob, calm down. We can talk this out. Why? I'm sorry, but GTVU is having major technical difficulties. Don't worry. We will be back shortly. And Dora, you will be paying for the damages of the camera. I can't believe we have all these bills to pay. You are in so much trouble. Oh, 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 You are a worthless brat who is now grounded for 800,000 years. Go to your room now.